So I have started my journey from uh, Dehradun. So it's about five o'clock in the morning, and so we are going to cover the distance of sixty-five kilometers today. But let me see how much I could can do it, because the first thirty kilometers is an extreme steep climb. So let's start our journey now. See you guys shortly. Bye bye. And this is my bike. I'm all set. I just stopped by to have a cup of tea before I can go ahead. This is the first view of the midway of my final destination. The place is called Masuri. It was established by Britishers. It's uh, one of the prominent uh, hill stations in India. I feel hungry like a beast, and all I can see is forest, forest, forest. This is kind of good, but at this moment I want to eat. So let's see when I find some place to eat. Finally, I found my lunch. It's almost five in the evening, so I've completed 12 hours since I've been cycling. I don't know if you can see those red flowers. These are wild rhododendron flowers. It looks like this. So this is pretty much my lunch now. Till I find some place where I can eat. So uh, we are still about uh, 17, 18 kilometers far from our destination. So likely I'm gonna take break. But I wanted to show you the tree line. So the tree line that you are able to see here. This actually tells us that now we started our journey from in the morning from the Gangetic Plains and then we entered lower Himalayas and now we are entering upper Himalayas and middle Himalaya, Himalayan range. So once I cross this pass, I'll show you the view of inner Himalayas. kilometers ahead of that we can start a downhill journey and we'll cross these mountains and then enter the so valley. The weather is really getting bad. That's fine. Anyhow I have to go there and reach there. So I hope it's gonna snow more. Himalayas so this is the first view of inner Himalayas I don't know if you can see just beyond that is the white snow line and beyond that snow line starts the Tibetan plateau that is China tire just punctured so I'll find a spot to fix it but in the meantime all the mountains that you see in front we are going to go downhill crossing each and every mountain that's visible in front of you so I don't think I can reach before sunsets so we might reach the valley by 11 in the night before 74 kilometers now we are going to begin our downhill journey and we're gonna go through all these winding roads cross this valley and 50 kilometers is a downhill journey right now and as you can see that part is a wildlife century and i want to cross this part as soon as possible 
So, but I'll try if I if I come across something good, I'll share it with you guys. So it's almost uh, 7 p.m. and I have entered the wildlife zone and still 12 kilometers more to go I don't think I can cross this before 9 let me show you something if it's visible I have a pathetic camera it's full moon today see you guys this stretch has turned out to be way longer than I thought it to be two hours have passed not even one person not even single vehicle has crossed yet and it seems more five kilometers of climb is left before I start downhill to the valley